Well, I'm being joined by Ravi Srivastava, who's a political analyst, as well as Aris Patani, who's a spokesperson for BJP. Thank you very much, both of you, for joining us. Mr. Ravi, but, uh, Ravi Srivastava, if I can come to you first. Of course, huge scathing allegations against the Ahmad Party. And remember, this is elections as well. But the first question that I want to take, and that's if the version is true, if what Swati Maliwal is saying is true. Ahmad Party has said, Arvind Kejriwal was not present there. Swati Maliwal is saying Arvind Kejriwal was present there. And we are talking about the official residence. It may not be the place where this incident happened, but definitely in the residence. Whatsoever, these are Neha, huge allegations. First of all, uh, is say all matter is subjudice. Investigations are on. Delhi police sure. is doing its job. And I think Arvind Kejriwal has also made a statement today. What Swati Maliwal gave an interview to some private channel, which is being aired everywhere, and uh, her version is being given. I had asked some questions right in the beginning. The first was that uh, what she has not mentioned anywhere in her FIR or statement that what was the purpose of going to the chief minister's residence as early as around 8.30 in the morning. What she wanted to discuss. She has not but mentioned. But whatever it. was the purpose, Second how does thing, it matter? No, no. Whatever uh, the purpose. Whenever why is that important? Is there, why, when it, whenever an inquiry is there, everything should be investigated. This also should be investigated. This is what I'm no, saying. Fair enough. Second thing. Fair enough. Is, fair enough. Saying, now, but wh what are you... Now, uh, wh no, but, but because you're asking this question, sir, you're entitled to ask your question. But my question is for whatever purpose she had gone there. I'm sh I mean, as long as it is not to cause physical harm to the chief minister, where she was not carrying any weapon or there was no physical harm expected to the chief minister. Why was the purpose of what she was had gone there? My, Why is it important question, to what unfolded? My question is related to the second question. My second question is, when she alleges that Viva Kumar was beating her, she, he said, Teri himmat kaise hui hame mana karne ki. What was she denying? What was the uh, question? What was the job? Or something like that, which she was denying. I mean, all these things must be the part of the investigation. That why it happened. And second sure, thing is... Sure, will, but I still don't understand. I still no. don't understand how is that important to the fact of an assault happening. I still don't get my, it. I'm sorry, sir. My, I don't. My analogy, my analogy is slightly distorted, but you will understand it. Whenever any murder takes place, the first thing is asked, what is the motive? What is the motive here? That's what I am I'm interested. I don't know whether police will be interested or not. But I am interested, what was the motive? Second thing is... So, when a murder does take the, place, however convoluted and distorted this entire analogy is, when the murder take place, the motive is important from the accused side. In this particular case, it's not Swati Maliwal's motive to reach CM's place that is at... At question, we, exactly. irrespective of what the motive be, exactly why the, the beating up? Thing. Exactly. I, the I've given you time, so let me just go you across are, to Aris Patania. Aris Patania, beating uh, part uh, without any evidence. No, no, you said beating. I'm saying evidence. Let it be a, let it be proper thorough investigation. Mr. Let Ray, it come Mr. out Ray, there was a beating. No, or you not. can ask for Mr. evidence. Chilibak, That's fair. Sir. I'm only That's saying the exactly questions that you have otherwise asked don't really. Don't really nullify the act of beating. Sure. Asking evidence? Yes.